Hi, my name is Easton Weber. I live in Powhatan, and I'm... Oh, I can't do this, Mom. No. It's okay. It's okay. You do it. I'm sorry. I don't need to go. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your time. She wrote this, so we're going to read it. I will give equal effort, but not have equal protection under the Constitution. You are probably looking at her right now and thinking, this girl doesn't know what she is talking about. If that is true, I, as her mother, I challenge that idea. When she leaves her parents' home, things will not be fully equal for her. She knows that she will make 78 cents on the dollar, that her friends of color will get paid 63 cents, and one of her Latina friends will make 54 cents on the dollar. The ERA has been around way too long, and it needs to be ratified. Thank you. Thank you. situation. I keep hearing about the 80% wage of women compared to men. There is a significant percentage of that 20% gap that is from lifestyle choices. This ERA amendment is not about equality. This is contrary to the laws of nature and to the health and safety of women. I will not vote to harm women. Neither should any of you. Moving on with item 10, old business bonded projects update, Mr. Wooden. Well, children, I think that twixt the Negroes of the South and the women at the North all talking about rights, the white men will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here talking about? That man over there says that women need to be helped into carriages lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere <laughs> nobody ever helps me into carriages or over mud puddles or gives me any best place and ain't i a woman i have borne 13 children seen most sold off into slavery and when I cried out with a mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? Abandoning their feminine roles has made their husbands unhappy because they do not have real women as partners. Instead, their wives have become their rivals. That man in the back there, he says women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Well, where did your Christ come from? He came from God and a woman. A man didn't have nothing to do with it. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, well, these women here together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And they asking to do it. Men better let them. 